So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're gonna repeat this three times. So you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it off and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you're gonna click on advanced options. I'm gonna be showing you some ways how we can fix the problem. So for the first method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot and then advanced options, and then system restore. If you do not see system restore, you wanna click on system recovery options, and then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on system restore. And now once you're on this, if you have a restore point enabled, then you wanna click on next, and then go back to your restore point. See if that works for you. If you do not have a restore point, we're gonna click on cancel. Now for the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then startup settings, and then click on restart. And now once we're here, we're gonna enable safe mode. So you wanna click on either four or F4 on your keyboard. Click on four or F4, wait for this to load. And now once you're on this, we're gonna head over to search and type in add or remove programs, click on it. And now once you're on this, where it says sort by, you wanna click on the drop down, and then click on dates installed. If you see any applications that you think may be causing a problem that you may have installed recently, you wanna click on the three dots and then you wanna uninstall it. Now once you uninstall the application, you just wanna restart your computer See if that works for you. Even if there was no application there to uninstall, just still restart your computer and then see if that works for you. If that's still not working, you want to come back to this screen. Now once you're here, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And now once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on Enter. Then you want to run the scan. Wait for the scan to load. I'm going to fast forward the video. And now once that scan's been 100% complete, now you're going to type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r space and now your windows drive letter with a colon. For me it's going to be c colon. For you as well it's most likely going to be c colon. But if it's not just type in your windows drive letter with a colon and then click on enter. Now you want to run this final scan as well. This is going to take too long to show for the tutorial so you just want to run this whole scan. Once it's been completed you want to close out of this. Now you want to continue to windows 11 and then the problem should be fixed.